A scary moment for passengers on an Alaska Airlines flight. According to passengers, a window popped off the plane while it was in the air. The 737 MAX 9 had taken off from Portland, Oregon late Friday afternoon on its way to Ontario, California. A passenger said the window came out shortly after takeoff and according to Flight Aware, the plane was only in the air for about 20 minutes before returning to Portland Airport for an emergency landing. No word yet on whether anyone on board was hurt. The National Transportation Safety Board is investigating the incident. Joining me now is David Susi. He's a CNN safety analyst and former safety inspector with the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. Uh, good to see you, David. Thanks for making the time. What, what could have caused something like that to happen? Well, I'll tell you what. I haven't seen something like this since 1988 with the Aloha accident. If you remember that one, it was pretty similar with the window popping out. It had much more damage to it structurally. But with looking at this, it's actually in the same area from what I know so far as some maintenance doors. There's a maintenance door back there that has windows in it. So it may not be just the door. If you look at the pictures that are there, it's a big area that opened up. It must have been incredibly frightening for the passengers. Mm. I, was, I was just going to ask you that. What, what would have happened in the cabin? What would have the passengers experienced? Well, at this part of the flight, they hadn't get, got, got all the way up to full altitude yet. So the pressure differential, the, the pressure outside versus inside, hadn't risen to a super high level where the rapid decompression would have caused injuries, I don't believe. But it, when it did go, it would have been a rapid, what we call a rapid de decompression. So your pressure is going from a super low altitude to a high altitude very quickly. And that can rob the lungs of, of air. It can cause all kinds of problems inside, but mostly it's about ears and it's about trying to uh, calm yourself with that explosion. It's, it's very disruptive and uh, it can really make you react to it in a violent way. Yeah, you can see in the video the masks uh, came down, so uh, uh, so that happened too. But it must have been terrifying. Obviously, uh, an investigation happening. Boeing says it's offered to help out. Uh, what will investigators be looking for? And this type of plane's had problems before, isn't it? Uh, well, the, the 737 MAX 8 is the one that had so many problems right. and crashed uh, to two and two in a row, Ethiopia and the other. Uh, so that's the MAX 8. This is the MAX 9. It's a different line of aircraft. However, it is still a 737 made by Boeing. And uh, the 737 in 1988 that, uh, that had that rapid decompression as well was also a 737 many generations before this. But uh, yeah, there has been some problems there. I actually have some calls into Boeing right now as well to see if I can get some answers from them. But what I would be looking for in the investigation, because this is a maintenance door, I'd be looking to see if that maintenance door had been removed for maintenance prior to this flight and if it had been reinstalled. You can, in the pictures, you can actually see the mounting brackets for that door. And I don't see any evidence of those being torn off, which would indicate to me that it's possible that the the fastening structure wasn't done, wasn't installed properly. So that's something that I'd be looking at first thing. Yeah, and, and, and in fact, looking at that now, we've got it up full on the screen there. It's a much bigger area. This, this isn't like a passenger window. This, this is a big area here. Yeah, it is. And, and there are windows in that door, at least in some models. I'd have to look at this one specifically. But uh, that, so it would look like it's a window. But when it came off, you can see, and the structure isn't torn either on the top part of it. You can see the shape of what would be like an emergency exit yeah. on the top of that. But, and then there's the big knobs that stick in that have circles in them. And there's four of those. And that's the attach point for that uh, maintenance door that can be taken in and out to facilitate the removal of seats and things like that is what that's originally designed for. So we'll, we'll learn more about it. But that's the first thing I'd be looking at to see what the heck happened with the fastening of that door. Was it fastened properly in the first place? The airplane's only a couple of months old. It's a brand new airplane. So what went wrong? Was it some maintenance down the road or did it come off the factory that way? Wow, yeah, terrifying, I can imagine. David Susi, always a pleasure. Thanks so much for the expertise. You bet, thanks for having me.